When it's time for you to purchase a new switch, there's a lot to consider. How many ports do you need? Will it work alongside other switches in the network? Are you planning to stack them? What features do you need? I'll break some of these down to help make the decision easier for you. All Cisco Business Switches, CBS, and Catalyst 1200 and 1300 switches will both work together within a network. If all you need is a switch to get devices connected to a network, and maybe some power over ethernet for devices, you may just want a Cisco Business CBS 110 unmanaged switch. This switch can't be configured, so the rest of the options discussed in this video don't apply to this model. When it comes to stacking, CBS 220, CBS 250, and Catalyst 1200 switches are not stackable. Certain models of CBS 350 and Catalyst 1300 are stackable, but not with each other. Check the support documentation for the stacking details of each model. Now, when it comes to features, there are a lot more details to consider. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll compare some specific features between managed Cisco Business Switches, CBS, and Cisco Catalyst 1200 and 1300 series switches, next. CBS switches level 220 and above offer a range of core features that are designed to accommodate your business needs. They provide both a web-based user interface, UI, and a command line interface, CLI, for setting up, monitoring, and managing your network. They all have quality of service prioritization, VLANs, port security, energy efficient ethernet, SNMP, link aggregation, spanning tree protocol, bonjour, and more. In general, the higher the number of the model, the greater the capabilities. With that in mind, the Catalyst switches have some features and performance levels that extend beyond CBS. One of the features that Catalyst 1200 and 1300 switches offer that CBS does not is Bluetooth support over a dongle. It enables a web UI or CLI access via a Bluetooth-based RF connection. To access the Bluetooth IP address, a Bluetooth dongle is needed. It is used to manage that device via CLI or the web UI. For this feature on the web UI, navigate to the administration menu and then Bluetooth settings. Enable Bluetooth service. Catalyst 1200 and 1300 switches also offer auto surveillance VLAN, the ability to identify an IP camera and assign an automatic quality of service priority to it. To set up this feature, navigate to the VLAN management menu and then auto surveillance VLAN. Here, you can configure the ASV general settings and ASV interface settings. The next feature exclusive to the Catalyst models is perpetual power over ethernet providing uninterrupted power from the PoE port to a connected powered device, like an IP phone or access point, even when the switch is rebooting. Catalyst switches also support multi-core CPUs, benefiting from a dual-core ARM at 1.4 GHz for higher performance. One exclusive feature, only available on the 1300 model, is Dying Gasp. It monitors the switch in case there's any sudden power loss, this can be enabled under Status and Statistics in the Health and Power section. Here, you have the option to send notifications via syslog or SNMP. Last but not least, I want to talk about an anti-counterfeit trust anchor, second generation, Act 2 chip, that helps protect the hardware from illegal upgrades. This trustworthy solution is installed on some of the CBS switches for version 3 hardware only. As it was launched in phase two, not all CBS switches will have this feature. The ACT2 component was changed to a Trust Platform Module, TPM, for Catalyst 1200 and 1300 series switches and provides the same protection. There you have it, some basic feature comparisons between CBS and Catalyst 1200 and 1300 series switches. Hope this makes your decision a simple one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.